Georgia Tech gave up over 20 offensive boards, but somehow won the game. Inside, nice layup there from Tony Morgan. Broke it 0 for 3 stretch from the field to start the game for Tech. Lewis running the point against Cam Swartz. Gets around her, bounce inside. Easy for Smith, missed the open layup, and the follow is good! Well, the 10th offensive rebound by Isaacs. Probably one of the more difficult rebound putbacks, but there she just muscles it up. Picked up by Battles, who's trying to initiate. Back to Lewis. Into the middle, Smith, lob down low, Isaacs with the left. I was going to say, same play by UGA, just ran to the other side. This time, Georgia Tech defends it. Zoisha Smith fouled as she goes up, and they'll count the bucket. Play to score, and then here, you want to talk about an NBA continuation play. She's doing a good job. She's a body down low who's strong, knowledgeable. This is a senior for UGA. I just. It's what we expected, though, in the paint. We expected Georgia to dominate, and right now they're plus 16. Well, if you're Georgia Tech, you just got to what the defense gives you. Blackshear there gets the defender up, and then just comes through. Shot clock going down. I'm not sure Georgia Tech realized that. Yeah, it was down to 10 seconds about. Here's Zoisha Smith, skips into the lane and lays it in uncontested. And I think just uh, today, she's been on the offensive glass, which is just pure effort and as I said, has been unchecked a lot of the time. Nice pass inside, Javin Nicholson with her first bucket. What a performance it was from the post players of UGA. And now they get to make it known here in the Camish Pavilion. Georgia wins, they move to 5-0, and and Coach Abe is victorious in this in-state rivalry.